He started moving? I don't know. I was already underneath the table when he started doing that. So I, I didn't know. Hey, we got to talk about your interest in other men because it, it seems to be getting out of hand now. Don't look on the table. Don't. Don't do that. Uh, hey. Hey, sir. Ah! Jesus. My chest hurt. Good thing she loved me, right? I need to get ready. <laughs> what? I'm leaving. I'm gone. Is this the right way? I don't even know. I'm just kind of like running and hoping this works out for me. So I think that was supposed to happen then because she took our ring. So it seems kind of scripted, which is also really cool, really great. Was it this way? Nope. Where am I headed to? Here? Why here? What's here? Don't touch, it. Don't touch what? What is it? Oh, oh, I didn't even know. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I didn't know. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. Key for the Christmas door. This key will help me open that decorated door. Oh. Huh. Well, at least she's not killing us. It does seem like she has some kind of love for us because she's not killing me outright. I'm, I'm actually kind of curious about what the story is. Like, what's the deal with this demon? And our girlfriend. And why was it in her house? It's not a best friend that we accidentally slept with, is it? Oh, another one of these creepy rooms. Dynamite. A whole box of fireworks. If she is really afraid of bright light, they will definitely come in handy. Maybe I can set a trap for her. I just need to find something that can distract her. Where did she hide my ring? She didn't hide it. She literally just put it like right in front of us. She seems lonely. Desperate. <laughs> Are you there? Are you okay? <laughs> um, I'm fine. How, please be quiet or she's somewhere near. I, I don't know which one to do here, y'all. Um, I'm sorry. I'll try. I scared her away, Mark. This bitch is afraid of bright light. Hell yeah. She left me alone and I don't know when she'll be back, but now, now she's gone. So my what advice worked. You? Do you have any news? Yeah, she wants to marry me. Good news. Um, my gift for you, she took it away. I found fireworks, just like you said. Let's do this one. Let's be honest. Why does she need it? This doesn't make any sense. There's no time to think about it right now. I called the police. I don't know where you are right now. So I gave them my address. Find a window they'll be able to see you from. What about you, though? Try to get up to the second floor. Oh, uh, okay. You got a big old house, by the way. Still not really sure how that happened. We just walked right past you somehow. I hear something useful around here, but I don't know where exactly I'm hearing it from. Somewhere here? Aha! It's heavy. I don't think it could stop her. I need something more powerful for that. On the other hand, it will help to remove those boards that cover the household. Damn, that was good. That got me too. Ah, it's always something. Tool of the free man. Well, let's not just jump to conclusions. You still got to make it to the second store. Second, second store, second win window. The, the window upstairs. I was about to say, why are we turning around? Just to get the elevator started. Dumb waiter. Hey, I hear cops. Well, I want to get super happy. Oh, it's you again. That can't be a good sign. Who are you two? There's a Christmas door. 
that I can't open just yet. Wrong house, right house. Do you hear that? Yes. It like the police are here. It does. Hey! Hey, I'm here! Where are you at? I'm here, please! I feel like I can hear you. Try lighting something up near the window. Maybe they'll notice you. Um, one second. Uh, don't really have any. I see the light in a nearby house. Is that you? Are you on the second floor? Nearby? Aren't you in the same house? I noticed you. You need to find another window that's more visible so the police can see you. I feel like I'm a walking target. This seems dangerous. This seems like the opposite of what I want to do. I hear cops. Cops getting out their car. Cop dead. Cop ain't make it. She she don't give a damn about the cops, man. She's like Mr. Nimbus. She controls the cops. God. Did you see that? No. They're all dead. We'll never get out. She'll come for both of us. You got a big old house. Put yourself together. Penny won't help you now. Jace will be okay. We can do this. I need you to... What's the point? She tossed around armed men like kittens, and you're telling me not to panic? Sorry, that might have been the wrong advice. My fault. <sighs> okay. I'll try. I, I heard her mumbling something. Oops. I, I don't know if this helps, but... You remember my attitude. said something about the gift she finally got. And one more thing. I... I saw that she threw one of the cops... Through the window of your building. What building are you in? Him. Maybe he has a gun on his body. Why are you talking about like we're not in the same building? How big is your house? Of course it's locked. Take your time. Yeah, I know it said that she'll remember my attitude, which tells me that I wasn't like loving and a boyfriend, and so I'm probably gonna regret that, and she's probably gonna turn on me and Sacrifice me in a giant bear suit and the ah! <laughs> Love you, honey. Those are old parts postcards. I started sending them to my ex-girlfriend when I couldn't talk to her anymore. So that was her? What? That's your ex-girlfriend? Why are you sending her postcards? That's why she's psycho. She's been following me all this time. I have nowhere to hide. She won't let me go. She left me. She left. She won't bother us. Mark bought a ring. Is it for me? Does he want me back? Mark doesn't talk to his parents anymore. That's good. Who does he talk with? These friends are bad for him. I need to get rid of them. Okay, he's no longer got friends. Mark celebrates Christmas alone. Now's the time. He went to this bitch, Joyce. Wait, so is she super nat? Did you date a demon? Mark. How are you? Not good. I screamed like a little girl a second ago. I found a telescope. It's directed towards my house. I find no she made there about my schedule. Telescope? What do you mean? I thought so. All this time, she was interested in you, not me. Sounds like it. You are connected to her in some way. Yep. Private postcards. Mark, tell me. Do you know this woman? Yeah, pretty sure it's my ex. We used to date. You were dating? Why didn't you say this before? Her neck didn't break like that before, otherwise I would have stayed with her. Uh she looks completely different now. I really don't want to. I realized that she was mentally unwell and we had to break up. She was crazy. She started to harass my parents and friends, so I left. You said mentally unwell. This sounds somewhat vague. I don't want to call her crazy. She may be right behind me. So that's why you moved here from your city. The things that she does, was she able to do them before? I told you I would have stayed with her if she could do that before. No. No, um, um, last year her health began to deteriorate, then some strange things began to appear. 
I guess. I don't know. I I wasn't there for their relationship. Thank you for telling me. Joyce, you be saying some creepy things, man. I don't know what it is about you, but you freak me out. Your comments just aren't normal to me. Just the way you end your sentences just make me go, are you the creature? Are you in cahoots with the creature? That's mine. I'll take that. Uh, it couldn't lock the door to the corridor. I hope it will lead me to the gun. Are we going to shoot our ex-girl? <laughs> hey, baby girl. Remember those postcards I sent you last year? Remember when I was like, hey, schnookums? If we were ever in a situation where I was locked in a house by myself, we wouldn't kill each other. Remember that? Baby? Baby girl? I don't think she remembers that. She act like she don't remember that. This is exactly why I wrote that letter. I wrote that letter because of this very thing. I knew this was going to happen one day. She won't be upset if I go get a gun to shoot her. It'll be fine. What door am I supposed to unlock? Oh, it's you. This house is so big. You cheated on me. How is she better than me? I didn't cheat on you. We broke up, then I slept with her. That's how that worked. I didn't cheat on you. Oh, she got on a wedding dress now. She is all the way loco. Loco is as loco does. And right now you are doing some loco ish. Okay. Okay, man, she got some triceps on her. Everything's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Nobody worry. Nobody stress. Let her pass. There she goes. Now we're gone. Don't stab me in the back. You love me. I'm Snuggums. I'm Snuggums. You don't see me. Shut that door. Yeah, that whole explanation, though, of how she's able to do this wasn't very good. Last year, her health went bad, and now she can just break her neck and climb up walls? That don't sound right. Even at the very end, I didn't dare to speak to her openly and just wrote a letter. Should I have told her earlier... I won't be back. You can stop stalking my family now. Please don't hurt them. They don't know where I am. I didn't tell them where I moved. I know that your illness is causing your behavior, but I can no longer put up with it. You have refused to seek treatment for too long. You can't control your uh, psychosis now. I love you, but I'm too tired of being afraid for my family. I'm sorry. He loves me. We said all of that. Stay away from us. Leave my family alone. I ain't coming back. You scare me. You're going psychotic. And all she heard was, he loves me. You're in trouble. Oh, it got, it got quiet. Why did it get quiet? Nope. Nope. He's upset. And I get that. I've done some things to make you upset, like run away from you. And I'm probably going to get a gun and I'm probably going to shoot you. But I can see why you're upset. Oh! I thought you brought the ring for me, but you don't love me anymore. Only because your mouth is wide open with sharp teeth and long claws. I'm not giving it back. It's mine now. Keep on pushing forward. You can have the ring. I'll buy another one. Yeah, I got it from one of those 25 cent dispensaries anyway. Where are we at? This house is so big. It's show massive. Whoa. How are you able to teleport like this? Oh, shit. That ain't good. I think I just died. Ow. Oh, she just like filed her teeth, though. She's not she's not like demon teeth. It's a normal mouth. She just like took a shark runner to her uh, razors. All of them. And made them all razors. I was I supposed to kill you there? I don't have... I turned on my flare, but that didn't seem to do anything against you. So... Oh, maybe it's because I stepped on... Oh, I think I was... I gotta watch where I step.
Uh oh. I did it again. Help me! Help me! Sweet baby Jesus, help me! I'm. Let's try that again, shall we? I think I have an idea. It's crazy, so bear with me. But I think I'm not supposed to go that way. I think I'm supposed to hold her. I'm gonna touch her. I'm gonna touch her. I'm not gonna touch her. How do I get past her? Yep, that's death. Help me! My ears! Stop it! Stop it, Angelica! Stop it! Alright, how do I get to the other side of this woman? None of this, all of this makes sound, bro. How am I supposed to get past you? No! I didn't even step up! Oh, wait. I bugged it. I bugged the game. I'm on the other side. She can't get me. Uh -huh. I might have screwed myself, actually. I'm supposed to be dead, and now the game's gonna be confused on, like, what to do with me. Yeah, I think I screwed up, actually. Oh, yeah, I screwed up bad. Because now I can't get out. And I can't die. So, mmm, this could be bad. Mm -mm. I don't know if this game saves automatically, because if it doesn't, we're screwed. Well, that's just not bueno. We're going to have to reload the game. I can't believe we broke it. All right, it's really, really simple, actually, to just reload it. I just exit it and then press continue, and then I'm back. So, cool. I don't know how to get past her. Everything in here seems like it makes a noise. <laughs> That way makes a noise, that way makes a noise. What do they want from us? I can't crouch, I can't jump. I can lean, I can rock with it. Bro, what the f Everything makes noises in here. Stop it. All right, I'm gonna turn this flashlight on. Maybe this will help some. Yeah, we're doing a lot better than we were, so this is clearly the right thing to do. I just couldn't see where the glass was at. Um. Oh, dude, it's a whole path near her and around her. Careful. Well, good thing she doesn't see light. She is going through it. I am so sorry that I make you feel this way. I really... I'm a big supporter of mental health, and I, I want you to get the help you need. Just not while I'm in the house. Ugh. I still need to figure out how you made me see quarters moving stuff like that. All right, we're out. We're free. Now, there's supposed to be a gun on a dead body. How the hell did she throw him up here? She's not human anymore. She threw him through the glass. A loaded pistol, that's just what I need. Shooting at her right away is useless. She's too fast. Even the police couldn't hit her. First, I need to somehow distract her. I don't want to kill her. I want to get her help. How are you? What's going on? Great. Now we have a chance. If you decide to shoot, it will be loud. Be prepared that she will hear will come for you. Well, duh. Wait a minute. I'm going to be shooting at her. She'll know anyway. Yeah, I always have a minute. Not really, but I guess, yeah. I mean, yeah, what's going on? What? I mean, I'm being chased, but... Uh, should we tell her or should we lie? In case we don't know, we're gonna make it. I'm not gonna tell you because we're going to make it. There's a ring, Joyce. I want to propose to you. Don't say that. We'll definitely survive and I will give it to you. I won't tell you what it is until then. Mark, you bastard. Okay. Then we'll meet again and I'll find out what this stupid game is. Hopefully, that wasn't a stupid answer. Joyce will remember your answer. Well, if she dies, she won't remember anything, so it won't matter, will it? Okay, just don't shoot, I guess, is the lesson here. Oh, shit. We're shooting anyway. Oh, I'm dead. Well, I didn't do that. They did that for me. Oh, boy. Hey, honey. Yeah? How the hell is she doing that? 
How are you able to manipulate matter and just move me through the air like that? She's not human. That's not normal. She's an X-Man, dude. Now I have a chance. Do I? I don't feel very strong right now. I still feel like she's in control of everything. What is my ex-girlfriend? What did she snort? Also, how do I get some so I can have superpowers? Keep moving. Keep pushing forward. There's the creepy dad and whoever she is and this door that I'm going to shoot again and nobody's going to hear it because it's going to be super quiet. Hello, secret dark room. What are these rooms about, dude? Oh, it's my ring. She's obsessed with this ring. If I put it under the tree, it will definitely get her attention. I can't avoid her anymore. We need to end this. She was obsessed with chasing, and I was obsessed with running away. Now it's all over for both of us. Oh, that's sad. Bonds of past and future. Well, that's some symbology for you. Mark, I heard gunshots. Are you okay? Yes, I think I scared her away, at least for now. I'm fine. I think I figured out a way to stop her. You know how to stop her? I think. Tell me. I have my gift for you. I'll use it as bait. She wants to catch me. I'll use the gift to set up an ambush. Did you find my present? Good. You know, she stole my Christmas decorations for a reason. It looks like she's obsessed with spending Christmas with you. Maybe if you put a present by the Christmas tree, it will distract her. Just don't forget to put the fireworks everywhere first. Right. I was going to do and that. Mark. Please be careful. Oh, that was a weird cut. Why did it bleed together like that? Uh, all right. Well, I'm going to go do that thing that we're both deciding to do together, right? As a team, I still don't understand how her house works and whether she's in the same house, how we haven't ran into her, how she's talking about her decorations. Guy. It's just all weird to me. What the hell was that? Okay. Okay. So they want me to put the fireworks everywhere first. I'm sure that'll be easy. What happened to all the decorations? This place became very bare all of a sudden. Love that song, by the way, honey. You know that's my favorite Christmas song. You know that's how I get down. Oh, sleep on heaven and... Yeah, that other thing. I know where the Christmas tree's at. I just want to see if there's places I'm not supposed to put fireworks first. Oh, she made a spaghetti. All she had to say was she made a spaghetti. I would have sat my butt down and we would have had a lovely Christmas. I love spaghetti with hot sauce and mushrooms and onions and bell peppers and all oh, the red sauce. It's so good. Lovely. Just lovely. It's dark in here. Nope, don't put that present down until you put them fireworks down. I heard what my girl said. Something about putting fireworks down everywhere first. I don't know how to do that, though. How do I, how do I put fireworks down everywhere before I lay, put the present? Oh, that's where I came from. Okay, I guess there's no choice but to just go ahead and start with putting the present down. It's for you, baby! Me. Thank you. I feel really bad about this now. You still think, baby? Honey, I'm waiting for you. Yeah, okay, wait for this. I really am sorry. I really am sorry about this. What the? F no, I'm not. You're a demon. I thought I was sorry. I thought I had feelings. And you just went into a volcano mess. And now I realize you're evil. Honey? Don't hide from me. I just want to put these bullets in you real quick. Just want to help you go to sleep. 
Where's she at? Should I stay in one spot and wait for her? Or? Baby! Where you at? There you are. Hey, sweetie. Hi. Don't run from me, baby. Oh, I gotta reload, baby. Baby, let me shoot! God darn it. Oh, she blew that one up. She not happy with me. She not happy with me at all. Oh, I don't like this. It's short corners. Uh-oh. That didn't work. Ah! Help me. Help me, please. I need to reload. I also need another firework. Oh, I see one. Come here, baby. I ain't done with you. Come love me. Come on. Get daddy some love. Give me some love, baby girl. Right there, right there, and boom. Please get shot. Please get shot. Please get shot. Okay, well. Oh, she blew that one up. Where's she at, though? Ah, uh, she blew both of Baby girl. I can't kill you if you keep blowing up all my blowy uppers. And there's some upstairs. Nope, no, there's. Ah! Back up! Back up! Back up! No! Not this way! I need more blow uppers. Here's one. Found one. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. I love you! Da, da. Are you dead? Baby? I bought this engagement ring a month ago, but couldn't find the perfect moment for a proposal. Will she say yes? This is not the perfect moment. Read the room, my man. You just shot and killed somebody. This is not the moment. What is she? The doors are open, Mark. The doors are open. You did it. My God, Mark. I love you so much. Come to my house. You won't get lost this time. I guarantee it. I'm so confused. I thought you were in this house with me. So you're not in this house with me. You're in another house. But you just... I... Okay. The story is a little confusing. But uh, the fun... The gameplay was fun. Don't like that the vampire is just hanging out right there. Don't know how her mental illness turned into whatever she is there. Um, I'm leaving, I guess. I guess. I guess. If she's really dead. There you go, where's your house at? What the hell was that? Fireworks. Oh, okay, I guess it's down here. I was completely off. Your house is nowhere near where I was headed. Why did you say I could see you across the street when you were clearly way down? You were nowhere near where... Okay, forget it. I'm going to stop asking questions because uh, I guess when I ask questions, I end up at demons' houses and shit. I'm coming, honey. You keep lighting off those fireworks and I'll be there in no time. I'm sure the neighbors don't... Let's go home. Wait, where are you at? Are you a ghost? Baby? Well, there you have it, everybody. That's Crimson Snow. I got a lot of thoughts about this game. Overall, I enjoyed it. If you're not sticking around to see my final thoughts on the Steam page, I want to thank you all so much for watching this. For everybody else, I'll see you on the Steam page for Crimson Snow. I don't know why I said it weird. I'll see you there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. I'm going to get comfortable because, you know, I like us to be friendly when we have these discussions. I want it to be a really kickback moment right now. If I had a cigar, I'd smoke it. That's a lie. I hate cigars. Anyway, what do we think about Crimson Snow? Overall, I enjoyed it. That was a really short game, but a really fun game. I love the way it looked. I love the Christmas vibe. Even though it's January now, for me, it still feels like it's close enough to Christmas for me to get the, the feels that this game was trying to portray. Also, this game does something really interesting that I want to start with. It made me feel bad for the antagonist. The antagonist is straight up 100% evil. It's a vampire, demon, wolf, lady, crazy person. But when they said mental health and the fact that she was so focused on this one character and hurt by the fact that he had moved on with his life and he had found love with somebody else. Like, I felt that. That felt like I felt bad for her by the end. The whole shooting her really didn't feel good, which is crazy because usually when somebody's haunting you and trying to kill you the entire time, by the time you get to the shooting part, you're like, damn, yeah, hell yeah, da, da, da. I didn't feel that way with her. I actually felt bad for old girl. It's still psychotic. Still stay away from her. 
because it's a very streamlined experience, there is a negative side of the story. The story was confusing as all hell to me. I didn't understand how she said she was flicking her light, but then we got lost in the snow. Then we end up in this crazy ex-girlfriend's house. We used to have mental health issues, but now she's a demon that can control control her speed, can teleport, who can drag you. Didn't understand any of that. Also, the choices when it comes to keeping the girlfriend alive. I love the idea of playing a game where you have to keep somebody else alive the entire time by making decisions. I love the idea of somebody uh, possibly dying if you make the wrong decisions. And this particular game doesn't really feel like my choices mattered. Now, I could look something up to see if there was a, a different ending where we don't get to see our uh, girlfriend at the end, which we didn't get to see her anyway, but like she doesn't survive the night. But it feels like what we chose wasn't all that, I don't know, special. Like, I don't see how choosing something different than what we did is going to change the game so drastically that she dies. Unless you told her to, like, I don't know, stay outside and fight instead of hide or, um, I don't know, act crazy and run around the house. I don't see how you would end up killing her. It, the idea is there. That seems fun, but I don't feel like it actually had anything to do with the outcome. I feel like the outcome is going to be the outcome no matter what. It was just a nice little thing she's gonna remember that i don't know why it's is gonna she's gonna remember that because again that never pops up later it's not like she confronts you later and it's like remember when you lied we was in the house and you said that i should go outside instead of i don't know i can't remember what the choices were but you just fill it fill in the blank anyway i like crimson snow i thought it was super fun i had a good time with it short sweet and to the point just enough scares just enough story just enough interactivity to make it fun check it out for yourself forget what i played forget everything you just you just saw me play go through it yourself enjoy the horrors of having the crazy ex-girlfriend come after you also thank you again so much for watching these videos for watching crimson snow for watching callista protocol for watching happy's humble burger time uh, farm thank you for everybody who's leaving comments in the comment section below i see a lot of brian i see a lot of um ksi i see a lot of coco puff thank you thank you thank you if i didn't say your name it's because you're not leaving enough comments in the comment section below what's wrong with you leave a comment in the comment section below i want to i want to make sure we get shout outs to you that's all i really got to say about this game i don't know why i'm talking fast we were supposed to be relaxing and chilling but i'm ready to move on to the next game so until next time deuces Sweet silver bells all seem to say Throw cares away, Christmas is here Bringing good cheer to young and old Meek and the bold Ding-dong, ding-dong Ding-dong, ding-dong, that is their song Ring, joyful ring, all caroling one seems to hear words of good cheer from everywhere, filling the air. Oh, how they pound, raising the sound. Oh, how the tale, telling their tale. Gaily they ring while people sing songs of good cheer. Christmas is here. Merry, 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 merry Christmas. Merry, 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 merry Christmas. Merry, 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 merry Christmas. Merry, 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 merry.